Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel at Cute Little Things with Nancy's. Today's pattern is Berta Kids 9332. I'll be working on letter B today with a few changes. The big change, it's not going to have the sleeves. Maybe in a future video, I'll make a short where I make one with the sleeves. So you probably already recognize this pattern from the last video I posted. I made this for Easter for me and my daughter to match and I was so happy with the outcome. Uh, one thing I'm doing with this pattern is I am adding the pockets and it's the same method as the last video. Now for the fabric I'll be mostly working on this video is a super adorable watermelon with all these little ants on here. How adorable is that? They're just walking around. I will also be doing the pockets on this as well. As with all my videos, I already pre-cut all my fabric and already attached any interfacing uh, that is required. And let's jump right into the pattern. I accidentally deleted a couple video clips throughout the editing process, so I do apologize for that. So you flip the fold so it's facing with the right side fabric inside, as you can kind of tell here. And I do use a poking tool to get these nice corners as well. And I also use the iron and steam just to get it nice and crisp. My collar is already stitched on to the body. But I did stitch the collar very close to the edge, so I'm using the clips as you can see, just to help it mold into place. Later on, I do use the iron and steam as well to help it regain its shape, and I do find uh, that it has been working. And now it's time to sew on the buttonhole.
I went ahead and already attached my pockets. I ran out of the green thread, so I just have to sew the top parts of it. Now all that is left is to do the sleeves. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not putting long sleeves, so I'm going to be making my own bias tape and adding that to it. I had originally bought in this bias tape, but after consideration, I thought the colors would not match, so that's when I decided to make my own. Bias tape is cut diagonally from the fabric screen, so it has some stretch to it. So I used any scrap fabric that I had to make just what I needed. I cut the strips one inch wide. And using the bias tape measure, which is 12 millimeters, I just slip it through and feed it, and then I use the iron to press it into place. Then unfolding one side, attach it to the edge, and stitch along. I do overlap my end pieces together, and then I fold it over one while making sure that it's even on both sides. I then clip it into place, and then I top stitch as close to the edge as I can. And now it's complete and you're all set and ready for the summer. Thank you again so much for watching my channel. If you do like, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon again.